sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not harden your hearts as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massah they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. For years I endured that generation. I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. <clears throat> come, let us worship Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. Some were sick on account of their sins, 
and afflicted on account of their guilt. They had a loathing for every food. They came close to the gates of death. Then they cried to the Lord in their need, and he rescued them from their distress. He sent forth his word to heal them, and save their life from the grave. Let them thank the Lord for his love, for the wonders he does for men. Let them offer a sacrifice of thanks, and tell of his deeds with rejoicing. Some sail to the sea in ships to trade on the mighty water. These men have seen the Lord's deeds, the wonders he does in the deep. For he spoke, he summoned the gale, passing the waves of the sea, up to heaven and back into the deep. Their soul melted away in their distress. They staggered, reeled like drunken men, for all their skill was gone. Then they cried to the Lord in their need, and he rescued them from their distress. He stilled the storm to a whisper, all the waves of the sea were hushed. They rejoiced because of the calm, and he led them to the haven they desired. Let them thank the Lord for his love, the wonders he does for man. Let them exalt him in the gathering of the people, embrace him in the meeting of the elders. He changes streams into a desert, springs of water into thirsty ground. Fruitful land into a salty waste for the wickedness of those who live there. But he changes desert into streams, thirsty ground into springs of water. There he settles the hungry, and they build a city to dwell in. They sow fields and plant their vines. These yield crops for the harvest. He blesses them, they grow in numbers. He does not let their herds decrease. He pours contempt upon princes, makes them wander in trackless wastes. They diminish or reduce to nothing by oppression, evil, and sorrow. But he raises the needy from distress, makes families numerous as a flock. The upright see it and rejoice, but all who do all are silence. Whoever is wise, let him heed these things, and consider the love of the Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. I was rescued from the lion's mouth. the beginning of the letter to the Hebrews. In times past, <coughs> God, spoke, <coughs> God spoke in fragmentary and varied ways to our fathers, through the prophets. <coughs> in this, the final age, He has spoken to us through His Son, whom He has made heir of all things, and through whom He first created the universe. This Son is the reflection of the Father's glory, 
the exact representation of the Father's being. And he sustains all things by his powerful word. When he had cleansed us from our sins, he took his seat at the right hand of the majesty in heaven, as far superior to the angels as the name he has inherited is superior to theirs. To which of the angels did God ever say, You are my son, today I have begotten you? Or again, I will be his father and he shall be my son. And again he leads his firstborn into the world. He says, Let all the angels of God worship him. <coughs> of the angels, he says, he makes, his angel, he, he makes his angels winds and his ministers flaming fire. But of the Son, your throne, O God, stands forever and ever. A righteous scepter is the scepter of your kingdom. You have loved justice and hated wickedness. Therefore God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness above your fellow kings. And, Lord of old, you established the earth, and the heavens are the work of your hands. They will perish, but you remain. All of them will grow old like a garment. You will roll them up like a cloak. Like a garment, they will be changed. But you are the same, and your years will have no end. To which of the angels has God ever said, Sit at my right hand, till I make your enemies your footstool. Are they not all ministering spirits, sent to serve those who are to inherit salvation? In view of this, we must attend all the more to what we have heard, lest we drift away. For if the word spoken through angels stood unchanged, and enjoyed the contemplation of that everlasting feast, like the blessed apostles, who in following the Savior as their leader, showed, and still show, the way to obtain the same gift from God. They said, See, we have left all things and follow you. We too follow the Lord, and we keep his feast by deeds rather than by words. Jesus prayed more earnestly, and his sweat became like great drops of blood. Let my eyes stream with tears, day and night without rest. Over a great destruction, which overwhelms the virgin daughter of my people, over her incurable wound. If I walk out into the field, look, those slain by the sword. If I enter the city, look, those consumed by hunger. Even the prophet and the priest, for in a land they know not. Have you cast Judah off completely? Is thy unloathsome to you? Why have you struck us a blow that cannot be healed? We wait for peace to no avail, for a time of healing, but terror comes instead. We recognize, O oh Lord, our wickedness, the guilt of our fathers, that we have sinned against you. For your name's 
sakes burn us not, disgrace not the throne of your glory. Remember your covenant with us and break it not. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come. Now and forever. Amen. Jesus prayed more earnestly, and his sweat became like great drops of blood. There are Three witnesses, the Spirit, the water, and the blood. I will take you away from among the nations, gather you from all the foreign lands, and bring you back to your own land. I will sprinkle clean water upon you to cleanse you from all your impurities. And from all your idols I will cleanse you. I will give you a new heart and place a new spirit within you. Taking from your bodies your stony <clears throat> hearts and giving you natural hearts. I will put my spirit within you and make you live by my statutes. Careful to observe my decrees. You shall live in the land I gave your fathers. You shall be my people, and I will be your God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come now and forever. Amen. There are three witnesses, the Spirit, the water, and the blood. The mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. Remember, O Lord, what has befallen us. Look and see our disgrace. Our inheritance <coughs> have been turned over to strangers, our homes to foreigners. We have become orphans, fatherless, widowed are our mothers. The water we drink we must buy. For our own wood we must pay. On our necks is the yoke of those who drive us. We are worn out, but allowed no rest. To Egypt we submitted, to Assyria to feel our need of bread. Our fathers who sinned are no more, but we bear their guilt. The joy of our hearts has ceased, our dance has turned into mourning. The garlands have fallen from our hands, woe to us, for we have sinned. Over this our hearts are sick, at this our eyes. Amen. Let us pray. By your help we beseech you, Lord our God. May we walk eagerly in that same charity with which, out of love for the world, your Son handed him.